All right. Right. It might be. That's it. Oh, I should go back to the thingy. I should go back to the market, actually. Thinking about it. Oh, dear. This was a mistake. Oh, that was a big mistake. Right. Oh, no, this isn't where the market is anyway. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Let's just leave. All right. Right. You should stop. Stop talking like that, Anna. Like, you're going to end up having a massive argument with people, aren't you? There's the mortuary in there. Right. There's someone in here I can talk to, and they're named. I can't remember who they are. Well, that's not terrifying at all, a line-up of thugs. I'm very slow around. Well, that's because I've just laid them down with stuff. Shalandra. As it, you managed to destroy Morador's box. I guess congratulations are in order. Still, it's too bad I couldn't decipher all the spells we used to contain the feet. Okay. I got the steel from you, my dear. Alright. I don't see. It seems a bit. Ah, guy. Oh, of course, I should go and talk to the crier who is in the southwest, I think. And inform him that I've buried his city. Technically. I'm gone. No. It is up. your path is mine. Run away. Did you see that? Done. Actually, I didn't. I was trying to keep that arm alive. But I'm going to assume you did gone. really well. Because he, he's a f mm, I don't know. My brain's off doing anything. I mean, all I can do with him is train to be a fighter, I think. So I found someone who can train me to be a fighter. I wonder if there's someone who can train me to be... I mean, looking at my stats, it look I've got high intelligence. I've got, I've got low strength, dex, and constitution. I'm not going to be a good fighter. I'm not going to be a good thief. I want to be a mage. I want to be a wizard. I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking about that. If I can... Well, I must be able to do it. Because I'm not, I didn't pick my class at the beginning. Right, if he trains me... To, if, he can, if he's the guy to train me up to be more of a fighter. I'm ready for more instruction. What ones can you teach me? Right. The smiter. The hand, the blade, of the stave, the hatchet, the smiter. Hmm, I'm worried that I might be going down. I didn't realise I was becoming a fighter. Oh dear, um, have I locked myself in as a fighter? Oh dear, I don't want to do that. Uh, he's collector. He might be a wizard. I'm wondering if non nearby had some questions. Tell me about this area. It's the hive. The hive is like to call the back end of Sigil. Rack Picker Square. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if there is someone who can I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of the The only mage I can think of is is the, the lady over there. And she isn't feeling very talkative, so I can't get her to teach me how to be a mage. I'm gone. Right. Unless I do something like move into a house and I happen to stumble across a mage. Hmm. I'm going so far off on a white wild thing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, we've got to think about f visiting Farad at some point. 
Ruskin. Oh, I remember you! The news is everywhere! Uh, congratulations on breaking the curse of Moritz's box. I must admit to being a bit sceptical that an ugly Burke such as you could... Thank you. Accomplish such a thing, mind you. I still think... I've got respect for what you've done. Come, share a drink with me so you can tell me how you did it. I'll gladly share a drink with you, will you? Spend a bit of time. Probably spend not that much money. And, back on, we'll probably have some health now. After a few tankards, a few songs, a few jokes, you've come to like Braskin immediately, immensely. In fact, at the moment you seem to like everyone. Soon Braskin falls to the floor in drunken stupor. You realise it's time to go. Farewell. Hooray for health. Oh, don't tell me, game. Ah, uh, let's leave. Oh dear. Alright. Let's go and talk to the crier then. You see the crier of Essanon, he still emits choked sobs as he chants the dead city's name, and tears roll down his cheeks. I've seen to it that Essanon's name has been remembered. It lies carved upon the black stone monument outside of the mortuary. Updated my journal. Suddenly there's a brief whisper in the air, and the man's eye eyes dry. One of the tears that ran his streak simply vanishes. Then Essanon is served. I will tell my fellow criers of the stone you've described. You have my gratitude. It was nothing. Oh, I'm not going to ask for a reward. Farewell. I hope you and your brother spend the rest of your days peacefully. In knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. Yeah. Level My up. My blade has changed. Has it now? I'm not paying attention. Oh yeah, you can, you can, you can spell. You can cast spells. Apparently, I don't know how to do it. Mage spellbook. So, if I look at right, level one. Reign of Anger! Allows the channeling of anger into streams of unerring missiles. Ma a magic missile that strikes its target unerringly for three to six damage. Okay. Submerge the will! With knowing the teachings of the third circle of Zerthamon comes great protection against all forms of attack. AC2 against all attacks. Script of Steel, bonus to hit. Ooh, I saw friendly there. Saving throws that are friendly. I'll forget to use that, though, is probably the problem. Power of One! And with Gith, the warrior queen, came the knowing of oneself. And from the knowing came immense power. Increases the target's strength score by a certain number of points, or tenths of points above 18 which will still be qualified by race class restrictions. The spell cannot bestow a strength of 21 or greater. The bonus is dependent on your class. Fair enough. Oh, there are... There must be a priest class. Oh! Ooh, I wonder if that... So, we'll find priests. Whether we can be a priest or not is a separate matter, but we will find priests. You are just an ordinary hive dweller. Done. Maybe I should just be going to Farad and not worry about changing my class. I, I want to go to the market and sell some of my stuff. Um, hmm. I have come to sell things to you. Sell that. A little host of rings. I can sell that. Oh, it's just 40 for the lot. Hmm. <sighs> what was I just thinking about? Oh, I was just thinking about fiddling with my weapons around. Like, I'm not really using anything. Like, that's 1 to 6. It's not as good as these, but it can help me bash. I should probably actually get rid of these, thinking about it. And the hollow axe. That might be useful to keep a hold of. But, well, no, I think the... That's 2 to 7, minus 1 Thacko. That's 1 to 8. So I don't have the... Th oh, the Thacko's terrible. Oh, 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 yeah. But I need to take into consideration what I'm good with. Well, I'm good with fists and edged weapons. Is this an edged weapon? No. That's an edged weapon. 
And that's fists. Two, four, one, four. So that's actually better. And Mortar's almost certainly not eligible to use that. I've just switched back to the axe. Never mind. I want to keep hold of that Gordian thing. And that's that. Let's see if there's anything else I can sell. I'm just getting a load of money at this point. Yeah, we want to sell that because the wet, the magic axe I've got is better. I might keep the knife though. Um. All right. Come in, Basher. Look here, look here. The finest Toledo blade. Finds Toledo blades. They're called Toledo blades because they're from Toledo. I'm guessing there isn't a Toledo. Unless, of course, our Earth is one of the planes connected to Planescape. Really? I'm happy to leave you be if you leave me be. And we'll go and rest, I think. Oh no, please don't fight me on the way in. I just wanna I just wanna stay in a hotel. I rest here, five coppers, alright. Mortar's taken a few hits, so he'll probably go up to full health. And then Dacon will probably be up at maybe three quarters for Dacon, roughly. Two thirds, close. Done. Done. I think that's them sores, folks. Sleep standing up, eh? I look in north of here as a rag pick a square. Yeah, okay. So everyone's just saying go to. N I think basically the game's like, just go! Get on with it! Just go! I have to think about what we're doing on there. Because Rag Picker Square is up this way, isn't it? I think. Looks like it will be. So we've i I've been to all of these areas. I don't know, let's just go to Rag Picker Square. Possibly get into a massive fight. You know how it is. I'm gone. Yellow fingers. He has a name. Someone has a name. Nothing in. Rat bone. Oh, that's what? I'd be confused. Uh, this weaselly-looking fellow, skulking about the garbage like a tattered shadow, seeing you and Morty beckons to you. Stay, skull. Where you get skull, eh? Me skull it is. Give it back to me. Oh, it turns to the hiver. Um. If you can prove to me the skull is yours, I will give it to you. It's only fair. He stares at you for a moment. It's mine! Talking proof don't know nothing. Gives me the skull back now. This is not your skull. You calling me a liar, eh? Skull's mine. Mine! He mumbles for a moment, eyes rolling and darting. You're the thief. Spitting liars, I'll gut you. I wouldn't try it. The man glances at you, eyes narrow. Suddenly he attacks. Meters attack. Wow. Did you Ow. see that? <laughs> Mort's like... I can... I, I'm not owned. I am my own skull. And of course we get another rat tail that I can't do anything with. Well, that was interesting. I'm going to speak to Mr. Ratboon. She was guarding a door. Whistles merrily. 
don't know that one. Uh, this man is whistling a cheerful tune and playing with a well-kept fighting knife. As you approach, he stops whistling and gives you a curious look. Hmm? What you want? I had some questions. My name's Ratbone Cutter. I'm a thief for iron, the employer Sharegrave, the boss of the collectors you see around this square. Pays me mostly to learn his lads to be real quiet-like and have to fight if they runs into a spot of trouble. Well, the only questions I'll have for you, Cutter. Where is Sharegrave? He nods towards the large, dilapidated house beside him. Careful, though, Cutter. Don't like visitors. It's right suspicious of everyone. Shagro's not even his real name, just what me and some of the others call him. I'm looking for a man named Farad. Do you know where he is? Nah, I don't. Here he's nearby, though. Some of his lads come running through at times, making for some idea hole that's who knows where. I'm guessing that's the buried village on the map. Somewhere up around these platform, those plat elevated platforms, I bet. But it's none of my business. Live and let live, says Ratbone. Where's your boss? Oh, he's in there. We've. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. All right. Hello. I'm here to talk to you, Mr. Shergrave. Tall and lanky, this pale, grim-looking man exudes authority despite his gangly and somewhat awkward-looking frame. A good portion of his left ear is missing. What little that's left is a ragged mess of scar tissue, as if the ear was bitten off rather than cut. His narrow, shifting eyes, almost mere slits, look clever but also dangerous. Greetings. He spits out a reply. I don't know you, Burke. What do you want? Quick answer before I call in some men to make a quick work of you. Who are you? <laughs> Burke. Who oh, am I? Is the second thing you should have known before you stomped your shivved up corpse looking self in here. And what's the first thing? That I hate visitors and I loathe strangers. You're both. Figure the rest out on your own. Calm down, I don't mean any harm. Oh, you don't say! Well, that makes it all so much better, don't it? Now, I'm going to ask you one more time before before your backside hits the street, possibly in several pieces, what do you want? Questions. That's ah, so, like what? I'm looking for a man named Farod. Suddenly rises. Now, what a funny thing to be asking about. What do you want to know about old, old blood Farod for? I, I, he's a friend of mine. He stole something from me and I want it back. The man is silent for a moment and cracks a smile. He steals from us all, doesn't he? Whether we're living or dead. What do you mean? Our main source of living around here is the dead. You follow? You're a collector. Aye, oh, that's right. He looks at you as if he's considered something. Now, there's only so many deaders at any one time. My bloods and I can only gather so many. Somebody else is gathering deaders. And that's much less jink that goes into our pockets. He's taking bodies too, eh? Aye. So? Updated my journal. The rub is that he's found a mother load of them. Now, I haven't heard of any massacres in Sigil, so I'm quite interested in knowing where all the deaders are coming from. I could find out. Oh, aye. And how would you do that? All I need to do is find him. Let me worry about the where at rest. Updated my journal. Eh, <clears throat> yeah, you got it. I'll even give you 100 copper commons for your trouble. Go up on the platforms, find them to the north and west, and you'll come to a gate that leads to Farad's bolt hole. Getting in and getting the information is your deal. And if someone asks, you don't know me, and we never had this talk here. Who are you? For a smart cutter, you don't listen too well. Huh? 